For more than half a century, CMC has kept Kenya's economic wheel spinning by dealing in some of the globally recognized automobile brands. But boardroom wrangles and ownership struggles over the last couple of years dealt a huge blow to the company. As a result, CMC lost a number of its traditional franchise brands to rival dealers, thus reducing the company's share of the local motor vehicle industry. But its acquisition by Dubai-based conglomerate Alpha Time Group pumped fresh impetus into CMC's operation. Well, look, Patrick, it's been a, it's been a very testing two and a half years, and uh, you know I won't deny that. Um, but I think now we've got a grip of the business. Africa was new to us, particularly East Africa. But we've got a grip. Uh, things are positive. Um, certainly, the business is far more stable. Um, we are a very forward-thinking organization, and therefore we have a growth strategy for East Africa. That growth strategy includes stabilizing and growing three of their brand portfolio. These are the passenger class of vehicles defined by the Ford, Suzuki and Mazda brands, the agricultural offering that delivers the new Holland tractors that currently accounts for 55% market share, and the heavy commercial vehicles department that sells AMN, Nissan Diesel and iShare trucks. According to CMC's boss Mark Cass, they are not stopping there. Watch this space because we're on the march. We're acquisitive and we're also looking to bring some of the brands that we have in the Middle East here. Last year, CMC sold 710 units of the new Holland brand of tractors and they're looking at hitting the 1,000 mark this year. But it is the Ford brand of vehicles whose sales stood at 856 units last year that the company is banking on for an improved market share that's currently at 8.5%. Our ambition is to get to 15% in the next 24 months and build on that. But the thing we don't want to be, Patrick, is the biggest. We're into sanity and not vanity. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is we've got to have profitable growth so we can put back money into the country. I sought to find out whether the firm will be relisting at the Nairobi Securities Exchange anytime soon. So the answer is absolutely not. We'll not be going back uh, by way of being listed. Patrick Gunza, Citizen, live at nine.